Hi, all. Lyle Kozloff, uh, Director of Support, Global Readiness. Um, wanted to draw your attention to a few changes uh, for PagerDuty scheduling, uh, specifically for support managers. So briefly, there is a, a few changes that kind of got grouped together. Um, so a couple of months ago, we downgraded everyone in support from user to limited user. We tried this first in US Federal, didn't see any problems, rolled it out to the global team. Um, but what we neglected to do was update the ops workflows and make sure that the any changes that got requested, one, people knew where to do it and that it was actually smooth. So this is fixing all of that. Um, so you already know about downgrading everyone, uh, but I wanted to point you to updating the ops workflow. That merge request is really for the ops team, just I wanted you to be aware that it existed. I wanted to make sure that you were aware that we updated the issue templates in the PagerDuty project for different actions. You can take a look at merge request four there. Um, and then I also added a support manager page for how to support SEs on call. This kind of talks about how you can the things that you need to be aware of for support engineers on call, some considerations when you're looking to redesign uh, pager duty rotations or like things like that. Uh, but probably the most important is actually how to request a change. Before we dive into that, though, I wanted to just quickly go over the responsibilities as I see them. Uh, so managers, you all should be ensuring schedules are appropriately staffed within your region and work with SEs to decide when they should get into or out of different rotations. Should be working with SEs to decide how to organize coverage within the region. Um, be planning changes far enough in advance that SEs can find coverage for pre-planned PTO uh, and be finding coverage for any unplanned changes. And then communicate with ops to get changes made. On the ops side, ops needs to be taking action on any change requests you make and be communicative about when those are going to go into effect. Uh, communicate changes to affected SEs. So you obviously will be talking with your engineers, hey, friend, you're going to be on call starting in November. But uh, you don't need to worry as much about communicating to folks that will have their rotation changed or the, week, the weeks or days they're on call. Um, Ops will take care of, of that, notifying everyone in the schedule. Uh, and then Ops should also be advising on the feasibility of schedule arrangements. If you want to have everybody on call for one minute at a time for the entire time that uh, your region is on call, we could do that, but maybe maybe that's not the most feasible or manageable way to organize work. So Ops will be helping with that. The big change that you really need to be aware of in all of this is just one sentence. Ops needs at least four weeks notice for changes to production pager duty schedules that will affect SEs. This is a significant change. Uh, previously, it, especially for smaller regions, you might change things quite, quite quickly, um, but this is really important that we give SEs a large heads up for any changes that are gonna affect when they're on call, really for pre-planned PTO. If I celebrate Christmas and I specifically took Christmas off on December 26th, the previous year, because I didn't wanna work on Christmas, if suddenly I'm on call on Christmas, that would greatly annoy me. Um, so the four week time is important, but it doesn't have to be four weeks every time because it's only for production PD changes that are going to affect SEs. So you can request changes that don't affect SEs. If you're swapping someone out, coordinate with other managers in your region, and you can swap people out and in at the same time. Changes like that can be scheduled quite quickly because it doesn't affect anybody else. Um, you can also find coverage. So say somebody departs suddenly, they're on call this week, find coverage. We can submit the change issue. And then when we have enough time to let everybody know that schedules are changing, we can we can cover part of it with coverage and part of it with an actual change. Uh, and then of course, Ops is gonna act on any changes that get requested, but it can be a lot easier to communicate 
and work through conflicts if you coordinate with managers in your region on any changes. So consider grouping those changes up. Uh, when I was a support manager, I would group changes quarterly. I would just ask changes for changes for everybody in Amer, and then we'd make the changes all at one time. Uh, that worked pretty well. But it's up to you. you. You all can decide how you want to manage that. That is it. So thank you for listening. Have a great rest of your day.